But my desire for this church is that we might march forward from this point. Forget the past. Forgetting the past. Let's press on. Let's not forget what God has called us to. First things first. First things first. First things first. We might not see one another again, but wouldn't it be a glorious thing if those words were ringing in our ears every morning during the day as it would be an exhortation to one another? And if we're lost, if we don't put first things first, then what will be the consequences? Those of you who are here today, some of you know so well these truths and have yet not put first things first. Whatever you do or don't feel doesn't change the truth. If we don't put Christ, His kingdom, His righteousness first, we have no hope. But a, but a ruling and reigning king coming in judgment, like we talked about last time on that white horse to, exec, to, to execute judgment, eternal judgment, but eternal judgment with this ringing in our ears, come to me, all you that are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Be yoked to me. Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread and labor for that which does not satisfy. Hearken diligently unto me and eat ye that which is good and let your soul be delighted, satisfied with fatness, King James. But, but, but this is reality. This is the word of King Jesus. And if we don't heed that word and if we don't put first things first, we're going we're gonna to meet him face to face and he's going to say, you've called God a liar because you haven't believed the record that God has given of His Son and that in Him you have eternal life. You, you, you've despised and rejected Jesus Christ as King and said, I will not have this man reign over me. And you've rejected His righteousness thinking that somehow you can work your way through this life, do a few good things, come to church, do whatever religious activities you might, might imagine, but in the end, it's all worthless. It's all helpless. So let us run and let us plead. Plead with one another. Plead with our family members. Plead with our neighbors. Plead with whoever God, God helps us to speak to. But it has to begin every morning. Seek ye first. First things first. When we wake up in the morning, if that would ring in our ears, first things first, it's going to lead us to this book. It's going to lead us to time alone with the Lord. We cannot sacrifice that. We'll be a victim. We'll be a, we'll be a Satan is, he's alive. But God's word is real. God's word is truth. It keeps speaking to us every morning. Wake up in the morning. First things first. Throughout the day, reminding one another, reminding ourselves, first th things first. To the end of the day, first things first. Oh, if that would catch on, brethren. Our prayer meetings would be first things first. Our lives, our mornings would be first things first. And we would see God moving. Because He's promised that if we would abide in Him and His words abide in us and we bring those back to Him, He's going to give us whatever we ask for and it will be according to His will. Many times we might not know exactly how He's going to answer those prayers, but He will enable us to do what He wants us to do and He will enable us to bear fruit for His glory. Simple. First things first. Simple. First things first, profound. First things first.